Hello traders, FX Flip Collector here. Today is Thursday, April 13th, and we're going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my new Forex trading course available to all Gold Patreon members. The link for that can be found up here in the corner. So on the euro dollar monthly, I still think this is actually going to turn into a trend. It looks like a one, two, three, and it looks like it's just going to keep on going up, eventually taking out this high and probably making a nice one, two, three, four, five up. So let's keep that in mind while we head down to the weekly time frame and beyond. On the weekly time frame is where you can actually start to see these higher highs, higher lows. I think this is a one. I think this move down is a two. And I believe that this move up is the beginning of a wave three. I still think we're in a wave one of three. I think it's going to break out of this area. I'm sure there'll be some pullbacks along the way. But I think it's just going to keep on trending up. Eventually finishing off a wave three, making a wave four, and making a wave five. This whole move up is probably going to be either a big wave 1 or possibly a big wave A. Either way, it doesn't matter because the trading strategy is exactly the same whether it is a wave 1 or whether it is a wave A. So let's keep going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can see the end of this wave 5, which I think is a 1 of this new move up. I think this is an A, B, C, like a wave 2. And like I said, I believe we're in a wave 3 right now, and we're still in the wave 1 of wave 3. As you can see, we are still making higher lows, higher lows, higher lows the whole way up. Definitely no reason to think this is over. I do believe it's going to break out of this area, and I'm sure it will have some resistance at a couple of these Fibonacci levels, but even if it does go down I think this is going to be a crutch into the uptrend and I believe it will continue to make them higher highs and higher lows so let's take it down even further to the four hour time frame four hour time frame the last end of a crutch was way back here right around the long ho holiday weekend that we had it definitely does resemble a one two three four five right here and we are at a Fibonacci level so honestly I wouldn't be surprised if it did make a little bit of a bigger pullback maybe even take out this structure but like I said, any moves we see to the downside, I believe are just going to be corrections to the uptrend, telling me that I'm still pretty much only looking for longs in an uptrend on these sort of time frames. So let's take it down even further to the one hour time frame. So on the one hour time frame, even though it does look like a one, two, three, four, five, and it does look like it could go down to make a bigger crescent at a Fibonacci level, I definitely wouldn't be going short right now because we don't really know just because it is safe that it's over. It very easily could just make another small crescent and just keep on trending up. So I definitely wouldn't even think about going short unless I saw an impossible move down, take out that structure, and then I saw a crescent, and then at the end of that crescent, I would possibly take a sort to trade the wave C at an ABC correction. But like I said, I definitely wouldn't even think about going sort unless I saw a start to break like that because I could just as easily see this just keep on trending up like this. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.